Hey and welcome to this tutorial on how to export an M calibration material model to ANSYS. Um, so that's very easy to do. All we need uh, is a already calibrated material model in M calibration, as you can see here. If I run this once, see that the uh, correlation between the experimental data and the predicted uh, results from the model are very good. The error is less than 3%. Pretty exciting. Uh, I'm going to now show you how you can use this model in ANSYS Workbench. So the first step to do here is to export the model to ANSYS. So I click on export model and then I select one of the options in the different formats that are available here. I'll show you both the ANSYS APDL format and then the XML format version. So I start by exporting it to an APDL. I'm going to select the proper directory. I'm going to save it here and uh, overwrite the file. I'm going to export the XML file, save it. Save, overwrite. Good. That's all we need to do here. Let's go back to our file manager. We can look at the files we created. This is the DAT file we just exported. So what do we see? We'll see this is a bunch of ANSYS commands here. TB user, TB temp, TB data, uh, just like we expected. So let's see how we can use this, right? So I'm going to go to my workbench. Uh, setup. Here is Workbench. I'll show you both ways. Uh, I start with the DAT file format, the APDL format. I already have my mechanical window open here. And uh, you can see it's a very simple geometry that I want to simulate. I want to assign this part here to have this new property that we calibrated. Yeah, we want it to be very accurate, of course, and we're using this three network viscoplastic model from the Polyumod library in this case. So I click on the solid that I'm interested in, and uh, we'll see that it, this material is assigned some kind of material. This part is assigned some kind of material, but it's not what we want to use. So what I will do is I will right click on solid. I will click insert commands. Now I get a command window here that allows me to enter those commands. So what I need to do is copy these from my uh, exported file. So I take all of this, I select all, control C to copy, and then I go back to mechanical here, and I just control V to paste it in. And this is all I need to do. Now, this solid here will have the parameters that we exported from M calibration. We can use it to run any simulation we like. So that's very handy, and it works really well. Uh, what I want to show is a different way that's uh, using the engineering data structure in Workbench. So I'm going to take this command, I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to suppress it. So I don't have a material definition there. Then I'm going to go back to Workbench, here's Workbench, and I'm going to go to engineering data. And I'm going to read in the XML file that we exported. So I go to File menu, Import engineering data, and then I find the file that we just exported from M calibration that contains all these super cool parameters that we want to use. So I click open and we wait a few seconds. And uh, here it is. This is the material model that we just read in. I can rename this to call it cool TNV model. There it is. I want to now put this into my mechanical simulation. So I'm going to go to this icon and I'm going to refresh it. Then I'm going to go back to mechanical. And if I click on the solid I'm interested in here now, I can see that I can change this definition to our cool model, cool TNV model that we have right here. Now it's assigned. We can run the simulation and we can see what happens. So, so let's quickly do that. So I'm going to just uh, click on solve. And the simulation has now finished. So we can see what the results look like by simply clicking on one of the computed quantities down here. And you can see that this just bends the bottom out a little bit. Nothing too exciting. Um, but um, we were able to use this very sophisticated material model to do this without any problems. There's one thing that I want to highlight that it's useful to look at when you run an ANSYS simulation with a polyumod material model. That is, if you go to the solution information and the solver output, 
if you scroll down a little bit in this file, there will be output information that are generated by Polyumod that's worth looking for. It tells you what version of Polyumod was used and uh, how many license tokens, and etc. that was used. And uh, if you're hoping to use the Polyumod material, you should see that these lines are indeed printed in this file. If they don't have these lines, then it means that Polyumod wasn't used in your simulation. And that's something that uh, is useful to know, of course. Um, and that's all. That's how you take your M calibration material model and export it and use it in ANSYS Mechanical.